Well, starting my next canoe build. It's going to be the strong back there. Starting to build the frame. This one is going to be. Um, it's not going to have the plywood frames on the inside. It's going to be bent ribs, steam bent ribs. So those plywood forms there will stay. They won't be part of the canoe when we're all done, unlike the first one that I did. So this is uh, this is a design by Brian Chandler of Dreamcatcher Boats. And um, you order access to the videos, and you and along with that. The plans, the plans are for actually three boats, uh, um, the, the large one or two person canoe and then a smaller one person canoe that would be for a lighter person than, than probably myself and then a, actually a rowboat. When you get your plans, if you order them, say download, they come in just a PDF and you only get half the the plan um, so I just went over to Staples and I had them f flip it on this side and join it up in the middle and print so I could have a printed the whole plan all in one piece instead of having to mess with it so they were able to print that out and it cost me like 14 bucks to do that the whole set of plans for all the forms and there's um, some of them like this one number three there's two um, the only one that doesn't have two of the same that are exactly the same is the middle one number five all the rest of them have two that are exactly the same so to cut them out I just doubled up my sheet of plywood I got two sheets of plywood there and so I'm cutting out two forms at the same time and I just use um, a spray adhesive spray it down there stick my sheet down and I'll probably go around and tape these edges and I just cut it out with the jigsaw it was pretty slick so I got most of them already cut out I have uh, number three to do and then number five only has um, one so it's not a doubled up sheet and then the stems, the stern and the bow stem, are um, they, those will go into the boat, and they're cut out of a marine grade plywood. So this is what I've got going today. So here we are. This is day two, working on this um, our new canoe, and I've got the strong back all built, frames all cut out, and attached to the strong back. Got the stems in place. They're held down here and keep them straight. This one I'm doing a little different. I'm using um, uh, artificial sinew to attach. So there really won't be much in the way of glue or screws. It's all going to be uh, lashed together with this artificial sinew. So that's the uh, stem attached to the keel. Last together with the artificial sinew, and it's pretty strong, pretty stable. Right now, the keel is all um, just zip tied onto the framework, and then we'll add on the stringers and we'll zip tie those in place until we get everything in place, and then we'll start to lash those all together as well. So there's just the shot. <laughs> We have that one in place, all lashed together. That's what we got done so far today in my messy garage. We'll come back when we get more done. Hey, just a little update. I got the uh, stringers all in place. Nothing's lashed down yet. Everything's held in place with uh, zip ties for now, and then we have to steam bend the ribs into into there, lash those on, and then we can take out the zip ties and attach the ends. There. 
there she is. Looking pretty good so far.